BD volumetric pump training. For the purpose of training, I'm using the GP volumetric pump. Before you use any pump, please make sure that they're clean, intact, and no cracks that any fluid can get into. So visually inspect your pump. This pump you will see attaches onto your IV stand using the integrated pole clamp. You've also got your socket for charging. Best off having your pump charge at all times, but it has a battery backup of six hours running at 25 mls per hour. This pump also has an integrated handle on top. So if you do need to carry or transfer your pump, you can use that. Before our setup of the pump, I'm going to hold my power on and power off key. So it's the white key here at the bottom. So I'm just going to press that once. You hear a little beep and your pump will start its setup. While the pump is going through its setup, I'm just going to run through the consumable side. So it does have a dedicated line. So that incorporates obviously your drip chamber here, which is vented, unvented. Okay, so you can use it with your glass bottles and any rigid containers. And you've also got your integrated um, safety clamp. So this is going to prevent any free flow. So when you're using the pump, if the door was to accidentally open, your pump uh, line will clamp off so you won't get free flow to the patient. When you take this set out of the pack, your safety clamp will already be in the open position. So you actually don't have to do anything with it, bar do your usual priming of the line. A nice low control priming just to prevent any air getting in the line initially. Loading of this pump is super easy. So you're just going to pull on the handle of the door. So basically there is a little groove here that you can pop your fingers in. Just pull that gently and inside you'll see it's color coordinated. So I have the blue of the set with the blue of the pump, the orange with the orange. So the sticky out bit of the clamp is going to pop into the pump here. You hear a little click as it goes in and then your line goes down in between the two pieces of plastic here. So this is actually where your air and line sensor is going to be as well. Lift the handle of the door, bring it back over and close it down. Always open your roller clamp before you attach the line to the patient, just to make sure that there's no free flow um, and that the pump is doing its job. So the pump is quite intuitive. If you follow what's actually happening on screen, so at the moment it's asking me to clear the setup. So if it's a new patient, I'll always say yes, get rid of the last patient's history. All right, and then on screen it's telling me to set the rate. So using my arrows up and down, I'm going to adjust the rate. So I've got a double arrow going up and a single, a double arrow going down and a single, and the double is quicker than the, the single. So once I keep my finger down on that, it will go in increments for the first 10, and then after that, it'll jump in tens. I've got my single for my one, two, three, etc. And then if I want a very accurate infusion, my line will move across, I can do my point one, point two, etc. So that's my rate there of 64.5. And the next thing I'll need then is my bag volume because the pump needs to know when to stop. So on screen, I've got two volumes, I've got my volume here. The first one is my volume infuse. So that's going to be recording my 24 hour fluid balance. And next door is my volume to be infused VTBI. So again, I'm just going to hit my VTBI there. I can use my arrows up and down to adjust or just to speed the whole process up. There's a lovely feature in this pump where it says bags. So I'll press bags and there's a full list of the bags in there. So for example, if I was using a liter, I will highlight the liter. So then my 1000 ml, I'll press OK. It asks you to confirm again, because at this stage, if you need to fine tune, so for example, add antibiotics or take your priming volume off, you can use your arrows up and down. If you're happy with a thousand, you're just going to leave the thousand on screen and press OK to confirm it. It'll then ask you for your end rate. So your end rate there, your default is keep the vein open. You can also have the pump stop or continue infusing. Now keep in mind your in rate is for when your bag is empty, okay, what you want the pump to do. So I'm going to leave it on a default there of keep the vein open and I'll press OK to confirm it. And that's my pump set up and ready to go. So my roller clamp is open and then it's traffic light system, green to run and orange if you need to put the pump on hold. So I'm going to press my green key there and that's my pump infusing. So I've got my indicator flashing to tell me it's going and I've also got infusing across the screen. I've got my rate my volume to be infused and my volume infused on screen as well. Now, if I need to change the rate, I have two options. I can either put my pump on hold with my orange key, then adjust it using my arrows up and down. So that's my new rate of 70. And then I press my green again to confirm it. The other way of doing it is actually titrating without putting it on hold. So you can titrate using your arrows, keeps infusing at the old rate until you confirm the new one. 
Okay, so for example, I bring it back down to 65. It's still infusing at 70 until I confirm the new rate with the green key. If I forget to confirm it, I'll have my little indicator here telling me to come back and uh, confirm that new rate. Okay, so that's the main setup and infusing happening. Next, I will run through these keys here. So your first one here is your bolus key. This is not used too frequently in the volumetric pump. However, sometimes in ICU, maybe for profile or something like that. So I'll hit the button once. And again, I see my bolus rate is 500 mils per hour, which I can adjust up or down, depending on how fast I want my bolus to infuse at. And to administer the bolus, then I've got my flashing um, bolus here, and I'm gonna keep my finger on the soft key underneath. On screen, you'll see your fluid going in. And once you've given your uh, um, prescribed bolus, you just need to take your finger back off, okay? That's included then on your 24-hour fluid balance, which is always on the front of the pump. Next to my bolus key, I have my silency alarms. It's gonna be the typical alarms of a volumetric pump. You've got your upstream, downstream um, occlusions, and you've also got your air in line. Now, we have a two-tier system. If it's orange in color, the pump will keep infusing, and that would be more for your, your batteries running low or near end of infusion. If it's red, the pump will stop. So for example, I'm gonna close my roller clamp here and get an upstream occlusion. Okay, so I'll get a red indicator to tell me that the pump has stopped. Okay, red indicator, I will silence it. So my alarm bell will my cross through it. And then I can troubleshoot via the message on screen. So it's telling me their infusion stopped, check fluid pad above pump, check the roller clamp. Okay, so I'll reopen my roller clamp. I can cancel my message and I can restart my pump with the green button. Next button here is your question mark. Now you've more options when the pump is on hold. So I'm just gonna place my infusion on hold for the moment. I'm gonna press my question mark. And in there I have things like dosing summary, volume to be infused over time, adjustable alarm volume. The one that's mainly used in here is my volume to be infused over time. So again, I'm gonna press okay on this one. I can see here, first off it's asking for my VTBI volume to be infused. So I can press my bags option here again. So for example, I'm infusing blood. I'll highlight my 250, press OK. There might not be 250 in the bag, however. So maybe there's only 247, but I can fine tune it just using my arrows to bring that down to 247. Then I'll press OK to confirm it. And then I can input my time, okay? So again, using my arrows up and down, I'll input my time there of four hours. So my 247 over four hours, it'll be my 61.8 calculator for me. And then I can press OK. And again, it'll ask me the end rate. So when that bag is empty, what you want the pump to do. So I have stop, keep the vein open or continue. I'm happy with the keep the vein open. So I'm just gonna press OK and confirm that. And there you have your, again, your rate, your volume and your time. And you're just gonna press your green to run on that. Last button then pertains to your um, pressure levels. Um, these tend to be defaulted down to the level five. Um, for your occlusions, if you need to make them more or less sensitive, you can press your uh, pressure level button. Bringing your alarm level higher will make your pump less sensitive to your occlusions in the line. Bringing it lower will make it more sensitive. You can adjust this again using your arrows up and down. So that's me bringing it down and bringing it back up, okay? Put the pump back on hold, I can press my orange key and to power it off, I'm just gonna hold down my power off key. Your line can be removed with the pump on or off. So I'm gonna use my power off key here, keep my finger down until the bar fills. And then to remove my line, again, I'm just gonna place my fingers in the groove of the door, open my door there and basically pop my line out. Now, when I take my line out of the pump, it does go into the clamped off position. So that's preventing any free flow. So even though my roller clamp is open at the moment, I'm not getting a free flow in my line. In an emergency, however, or say for example, you're trying to pry an air out of the line, you might need to turn this back into a free flow. So it's a case of pushing your orange clamp back in. Okay. So orange clamp back in. There is, however, just a little piece of plastic sitting on top of my orange clamp. So I'm just going to lift that slightly to create a gap and then I'll slide my orange clamp in and that's it back into our free flow line. For storage and cleaning of the pump, please refer to the directions for use.